of season two of Nawasa's Water Wars. I am your host, Linda Brave Boy. This competition is brought to you by the National Water and Sewage Authority, Nawasa, and the German Agency for International Cooperation, GIZ, as part of the International Water Stewardship Program, IWASP, funded by the governments of Germany and the UK, and implemented in cooperation with the Ministry of Agriculture, Lands, Forestry, Fisheries, and the Environment. We would also like to recognize our other partners without whom this competition would not have been made possible. They are Flow Grenada, Grenville Credit Union, Video Moments, GOT Credit Union, and Digicel Grenada. We started off on June 27th with 14 schools. Now we are only down to four. The live grand finale is here and in just about 30 minutes, we will find out who's the champion of Noasa Water Wars 2016. For the benefit of the participants, our audience and viewers at home, these are the competition rules. One, all responses should be phrased in the form of a question that is, who is or what is? Two, questions will be asked only once. They will not be repeated. Three, players are only allowed to buzz in after I have finished reading the questions. Four, five seconds is the allotted time for response. Five, each player will have one attempt per question. If the player who burst in first is incorrect or do not come up with a response, the question will be offered once to the other players who will then only have three seconds to respond. Six, in the dispatch and combat rounds, if players fail to answer the questions correctly and I provide the answer, the last person having the correct response will be allowed to choose the next clue. Seven, for the interruption clues, Players will be allowed five seconds to respond. Only the player who burst in first will be allowed to respond. This clue will not be offered. And finally, rule number eight. Players are allowed 30 seconds to respond to the lone question in the destruction round of competition. Answers should be written on the sheet of paper provided and they are to be sure that their handwriting is legible. And it's now time to meet our competitors, of course, starting with the St. Joseph's Convent, St. George's. I'm Erin Williams, and I am a Form 4 student of the St. Joseph's Convent, St. George. Hillsborough Secondary. My name is Betty Ann Emmons, and I'm from the Hillsborough Secondary School. St. Andrew Anglican Secondary. My name is Shalom Pierre, and I'm from... And I'm a form four student of the St. Andrews Anglican Secondary School. And last but certainly not least, Anglican High School. My name is Kimika Donald, a fourth form student of the Anglican High School. So there you've had it. We've met all the competitors from the four different schools. Best of luck to all of you. Make yourself and your schools absolutely proud. And it's now time to jump into the dispatch round. Let's see what are the categories in this round. And the categories are, what's the pronunciation? Proper treatment? What's trending? You know the year. And finally, we do it like a boss. The St. Joseph's Convent, you are in command of the board. Please go ahead and choose the first clue. Can I have you know the year for $75, please? You know the year for $75. The year of Nawasa's conception. Hillsborough Secondary. What is 1990? You are correct. Please go ahead and choose the next clue. You know the year for $100, please. You know the year for $100. Kawasa was incorporated in this year. St. Andrew Anglican Sec. What is 2001? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It is now offered Anglican High School. What is 1996? I'm sorry, that is also incorrect. The correct response, what is 2010? Please go ahead and choose the next clue. 
You know the year for fifty dollars, please. You know the year for fifty dollars. The year in which the ICAS project was launched. St. Andrew Anglican. What is 2013? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It is now offered. Anglican High School. What is 2012? You are correct. <clears throat> Please go ahead and choose the next clue. Anglican High. Proper treatment, $100. Proper treatment for $100. Water in its purest form in less these three adjectives. Anglican High. What is colorless, tasteless, and odorless? You are correct. Please choose the next clue. Proper treatment, $75. Proper treatment for $75. Oh, water tastes then flat after storage? No worries. This pouring back and forth motion will send it right back to factory settings. St. Joseph's Convent. What is aeration? You are correct. <clears throat> please choose the next clue. Can I have what's trending for $100, please? What's trending for $100? The activity of planning, developing, distributing, and optimum use of water resources on the defined water policies and regulations. St. Andrew Anglican. What is planning and development? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It is now offered. St. Joseph's Convent. What is production and quality? That is also incorrect. The correct answer, what is water management? Please go ahead and choose the next clue. Can I have we do it like a boss for $75, please? We do it like a boss for $75. He works in the Lands Department, Ministry of Agriculture, and is the official liaison of GWASP. Anglican High. Who is Mr. Trevor Thompson? You are correct. Please choose the next clue. Can I have, we do it like a boss for $100, please. We do it like a boss for $100. This committee is responsible for the coordination and oversight of the climate change activities in Grenada. Anglican High. What is ICAS? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It is now offered. Hillsborough Secondary. What is the National Climate Change Committee? You are correct. <clears throat> please go ahead and choose the next clue. What's the pronunciation for $100, please? What's the pronunciation for $100? One word to say building resistance to climate change. Anglican High School. What is mitigation? That is incorrect. It is now offered. Hillsborough Secondary. What is ICAS? That is incorrect. Participants, the correct answer is what is adaptation or climate change adaptation? Please go ahead and choose the next clue. What's the pronunciation for $75, please? What's the pronunciation for $75? Making water available for consumption by consumers. St. Andrew Anglican Secondary. What is water distribution? You are correct, what is distribution? Please select the next clue. What's trending for $75, please? What's trending for $75? The synonym for keep describes water that is collected for future use. St. Joseph's Convent. What is water conservation? That is incorrect. Anglican High. What is sustainability? That is incorrect. Participants, the correct answer is what is water storage? Please go ahead and select the next clue. Hillsborough Proper. Second. I'm sorry, St. Andrew Anglican. Please go ahead and select the next clue. Proper treatment for $50, please. Proper treatment for $50. The most popular type of treatment process used by NOASA. St. Andrew Anglican. What is slow sand filtration? You are correct. Please go ahead and select the next clue. What's trending for $50, please? 
what's trending for $50. The careful utilization of sustainable resources like water to prevent depletion. Hillsborough Secondary. What is water conservation? You are correct. Please select the next clue, Hillsborough Sec. We do it like a boss for $50, please. We do it like a boss for $50. I head NOASA's production and quality department. It is my responsibility to ensure your water is in tip-top drinking shape. St. Joseph's Convent. Who is Mr. Alan Neptune? You are correct. <laughs> please go ahead and select the next clue. Can I have what's the pronunciation for $50, please? What's the pronunciation for $50? The capturing and the treating of raw water to make it fit for drinking. Hillsborough Secondary. What is water treatment? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Please, it is now offered. Anglican High. What is water purification? That is also incorrect. The correct answer is what is production? Participants, just a reminder that you are to buzz when I'm finished reading the question, not whilst I'm doing so. Please go ahead and choose the next clue. Can I have we do it like a boss for $25, please? We do it like a boss for $25. This is the body responsible for disaster preparedness in Grenada. St. Andrew Anglican. What is NADMA? You are correct. St. Andrew Anglican, please go ahead and select the next clue. You know the year for $25, please. You know the year for $25. Noasa's metering program was introduced in this year. St. Andrew Anglican. What is 1996? You are correct. Please go ahead and select the next clue. What's trending for $25, please? What's trending for $25? And St. Andrew Anglican, you have selected the interruption clue, which means that you are playing for one week. Data plan complements Digicel. And participants, this clue will not be offered. The process whereby the saline content is extracted from water, making it portable. What is desalination? You are correct. <laughs> Please go ahead and select the next clue. Proper treatment for $25, please. Proper treatment for $25. Non-toxic chemicals such as aluminum sulfate added to raw water resulting in the formulation of flux. St. Andrew Anglican. What is flocculation? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It is now offered. St. Joseph's Convent. What is chemical treatment? That is also incorrect. The correct answer, what is a coagulant? St. Andrew Anglican, please select the final clue. What's the pronunciation for $25, please? What's the pronunciation for $25? This type of environmental issue ranges from water to air and even noise. Hillsborough Secondary. What is pollution? You are correct. And that's all the questions in this round of the competition. Stay with us because the combat round is up next. You're watching Nawaso Water Wars, and I'm your host, Linda Brave Boy. You don't need to worry. That's why we have Noasa. Noasa supplies a quality, reliable, and sustainable source of water to our nation. Small island nations like Grenada are victims of climate change. The impacts are already being felt with extreme weather patterns creating droughts and flash floods. Increased temperatures cause coral bleaching, depleting fish habitat, thereby affecting food security. More intense cyclonic activity affects national security. What can we do to secure our future? We can fight back. 
by conserving water, engaging in climate-smart agriculture, protecting our forests, avoiding further damage to our coral reefs, helping to protect our coastline, and harnessing renewable natural resources. The climate is changing. Are you? Grenada adapts now. The Integrated Climate Change Adaptation Strategies Project is part of the International Climate Initiative funded by the government of Germany to help Grenada adapt to the effects of climate change. This is a production of the UNDP and the Grenada Ministry of Agriculture. Welcome back. I am Linda Brave Boy, and you're watching season two of the Noaso Water Wars and we're here at the grand finale. Our schools are performing very well indeed and speaking of which, I'll now provide you with the accumulated sum for each of the schools thus far. The St. Joseph's Convent, $125. Hillsborough Secondary, $250. St. Andrew Anglican Secondary, $175. And the Anglican High School, $225. We're moving right on to the combat round of the competition, and now we'll reveal the categories. The categories are Dwelling on the Past, Spot the Misbuilt Wood, What a Fact, Everything but the Kitchen Sink, and finally, come rain or shine. And the St. Andrew Anglican Secondary, you are in command of the board, since you would have accumulated the least sum thus far. Please go ahead and choose the first clue. Come rain, shine for $100, please. Come rain or shine for $100. Though this is defined as the official Atlantic hurricane season, do not be fooled. A hurricane or storm can be experienced year-round. Anglican High? What is June to December? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It is now offered. St. Joseph's Convent? What is May to December? That is also incorrect. The correct answer, what is June to November? Anglican High, please select the next clue. Can I have spot the misspelled word for $100, please? Spot the misspelled word for $100. Droplets. This is the name of the newsletter published quarterly by Nawasa's communications unit. Anglican High School. What is newsletter? You are correct. Please select the next clue. Can I have spot the misspelled word for $75, please? Spot the misspelled word for $75. Coagulation is the addition of a non-toxic chemical to raw water, the first of the water treatment processes. St. Andrew Anglican Secondary. What is coagulation? You are correct. Please choose the next clue. Dwelling on the past for $100, please. Dwelling on the past for $100. A reservoir was built in this community in the 1950s to combat typhoid. St. Joseph's Convent. What is the observatory reservoir? You are correct. Please select the next clue. What a fact for $100, please. What a fact for $100. The first two countries in the Caribbean where the International Water Stewardship Program, IWASP, is implemented. Anglican High School. What is Grenada and St. Lucia? You are correct. Please select the next clue. Can I have everything but the kitchen sink for $100, please? Everything but the kitchen sink for $100. An area of land where all surface water co converge to a single point where the water joins. St. Andrew Anglican Secondary. What is, a, what is a tributary? That is incorrect. It is now offered. Hillsborough Secondary. What is a valley? 
that is also incorrect. The correct answer, what is a watershed? Please go ahead and select the next clue. Can I have spot the misspelled word for $50, please? Spot the misspelled word for $50. Looking at your water meter, you would notice red and black digits. The black digits record consumption in cubic meters. St. Joseph's Convent. What is consumption? You are correct. Please go ahead and choose the next clue. Can I have dwelling on the past for $75, please? Dwelling on the past for $75. In the early 1950s, the English built two windmills in the capital city to pump water to several water catchment cisterns. Hillsborough Secondary. What is Hillsborough? You are correct. <laughs> please go ahead and choose the next clue. What a fact for $75, please. What a fact for $75. This line carries water from the dam to the coagulation or sediment sedimentation tank. Hillsborough Secondary. What is the water line? That is incorrect, St. Andrew Anglican Secondary. What is, what is the distribution line? That is also incorrect. The correct answer, what is the raw water line? Hillsborough Sec, go ahead and choose the next clue. Come rain or shine for $75, please. Come rain or shine for $75. And you have selected the interruption clue. Uh, you are playing for one week data plan complements flow and also $25 free credit complements flow. As a result of storms in nearby locations, surrounding countries can experience storm-like conditions. Example, sea level rise defined as this. What is high tide? That is incorrect. The correct answer, what is a storm surge? Hillsborough Secondary, please go ahead and choose the next clue. Everything but the kitchen sink for $75, please. Everything but the kitchen sink for $75. Data collection and monitoring of selected raw water sources make up only part of the responsibilities of this unit. St. Andrew Anglican Secondary. What is the Information Systems Unit? That is incorrect. It is now offered. Anglican High. What is Transmission and Distribution? That is also incorrect. The correct answer, what is Water Resource Unit? Or what is the Water Resource Unit? Please go ahead and choose the next clue. Come rain or shine for $50, please. Come rain or shine for $50. Though it seems otherwise at times, the Atlantic rainy season starts and ends in these months. St. Andrew Anglican Secondary. What is June to November? That is incorrect. It is now offered. Anglican High. What is December to April? That is also incorrect. The correct answer, what is June to December? Please go ahead and choose the next clue. Everything but the kitchen sink for $50, please. Everything but the kitchen sink for $50. NADMA will issue this when storm conditions are expected within 48 hours. St. Andrew Anglican Secondary. What is a storm watch? You are correct. Please go ahead and select the next clue. What a fact for $50, please. What a fact for $50. A significant increase in the number of dry days and higher temperatures can cause this condition leading to water shortages. Hillsborough Secondary. What is evaporation? That is incorrect. St. Andrew Anglican. What is severe drought? We will accept that answer. What is drought? Please go ahead and choose the next clue. Dwelling on the past for $50, please. Dwelling on the past for $50. Nawasa was called by this name in the early 1970s when it was located in Queens Park, St. George. St. Andrew Anglican. What is Waterworks? You are correct. Please proceed to choose the next clue. Water fact for $25, please. 
water fact for $25. The clumping of particles, which is facilitated by a gentle agitation during water treatment. Anglican High. What is coagulation? That is incorrect. St. Andrew Anglican Secondary. What is flocculation? You are correct. Please go ahead and choose the next clue. Everything but the kitchen sink for $25, please. Everything but the kitchen sink for $25. And again, you would have selected the interruption clue. Please be reminded that you are playing for one week data plan complements flow. And now it's time for the question. A celebration indeed. It was last year when Noasa celebrated this milestone. What is 25 years? You are correct. <laughs> what is 25 years or what is the 25th anniversary? Please go ahead and choose the next clue. Come rain or shine for $25, please. Come rain or shine for $25. As a weather fanatic, you will use this instrument to measure rainfall. St. Andrew Anglican. What is rain gauge? You are correct. Please go ahead and select the next clue. Spot the misspelled word for $25, please. Spot the misspelled word for $25. Noasa provides consumers with these two types of service, which incurs two different water rates. They are domestic and commercial. Hillsborough Secondary. What is commercial? You are correct. Please go ahead and choose the final clue. Dwelling on the past for $25, please. Dwelling on the past for $25. In the late 1970s, Waterworks was relocated to this area and was called the Central Water Commission, or CWC, Anglican High School. What is a carinage? You are correct. And we have exhausted all the clues in this round. However, viewers, we do have one final round left. We call it the destruction round. The category in that round will be related to the word management. And it's now time for us to take a quick break. When we return, we'll find out what the clue is. We'll be back. You don't need to worry. That's why we have Noasa. NOASA supplies a quality, reliable, and sustainable source of water to our nation. Small island nations like Grenada are victims of climate change. The impacts are already being felt, with extreme weather patterns creating droughts and flash floods. Increased temperatures cause coral bleaching, depleting fish habitat, thereby affecting food security. More intense cyclonic activity affects national security. What can we do to secure our future? We can fight back by conserving water, engaging in climate-smart agriculture, protecting our forests, avoiding further damage to our coral reefs, helping to protect our coastline, and harnessing renewable natural resources. The climate is changing. Are you? Grenada adapts now. The Integrated Climate Change Adaptation Strategies Project is part of the International Climate Initiative, funded by the Government of Germany to help Grenada adapt to the effects of climate change. This is a production of the UNDP and the Grenada Ministry of Agriculture. watching Nawasa's Water Wars. If you are just joining us, the battle is fierce among our competitors, and these are the amounts they have each accumulated thus far. 
St. Joseph's Convent, they had 125 in the dispatch round. In the combat round of competition, they gained 150, giving them a total of $275 thus far. Hillsborough Secondary, they had 250 in the first round. In the second round, they gained 100. Therefore, that's a total of $350 for the Hillsborough Secondary. St. Andrew Anglican Secondary, they had $175 in the first round. In the combat round, they gained $275, giving them a total of $450. And the Anglican High School, they had 225 in the dispatch round. They were able to gain 225 in the second round, giving them also a total of $450. Now, before the break, we would have revealed the category for the destruction round, and that has to do with the word management. This round consists of only one clue, to which the competitors will write their response on a sheet of paper provided and they will do so in 30 seconds. Every competitor who responds to this clue correctly, they will earn $200. Participants, are you guys ready? And now the clue. Established as part of the ICAS project, this provides a vision for the future use, developing, and protection of Grenada's low-lying shorelines. Participants, you have 30 seconds and your time starts now. Participants, your time is up. Please place your markers on the podium. You are to hold up the paper with your answer facing your chest or facing yourself. And when I call your school, you will then reveal the answer to us, of course, reading it aloud. So we're going to start with St. Joseph's Convent, St. George's. What is Integrated Coastal Zone Management Program? Hillsborough Secondary. What is Coastline Conservation? St. Andrew Anglican Secondary. What is the National Climate Change Committee? And Anglican High School. What is RECOM? Okay, St. Joseph's Convent, can you just please repeat your answer? What is Integrated Coastal Zone Management Program? Okay, thank you very much, participants. And St. Joseph's Convent, we will accept your answer. What is the Coastal Zone Management Policy? <laughs> Therefore, let me just give you guys a recap of the totals. We have the St. Joseph's Convent with $475. Hillsborough Secondary, $350. St. Andrew Anglican Secondary, $450. And the Anglican High School, $450. And I believe it is obvious that the St. Joseph's Conference St. George's is the new champion. I was only kidding, okay? I was only kidding. We have a tie, so we need to sort that out, okay? So we have a tie between St. Andrew Anglican Secondary and the Anglican High School, and they will be, whoever gets that one first, sorry, whoever gets it correct, uh, hopefully they will probably fall in the second position, who knows, okay? So your question, and 
participants. This is only directed to the St. Andrew Anglican Secondary and the Anglican High School, two Anglican schools actually. The question, the name of Noasa's communications officer, Anglican High School. Who is Ms. Jamila Lewis? You are correct. Okay, so the Anglican High School, you guys would have got that answer correct. Who is Jamila Lewis? And we'll just wait just about five seconds before I announce the results. You don't need to worry. That's why we have Noasa. Noasa supplies a quality, reliable, and sustainable source of water to our nation. Small island nations like Grenada are victims of climate change. The impacts are already being felt with extreme weather patterns creating droughts and flash floods. Increased temperatures cause coral bleaching, depleting fish habitat, thereby affecting food security. More intense cyclonic activity affects national security. What can we do to secure our future? We can fight back by conserving water, engaging in climate-smart agriculture, protecting our forests, avoiding further damage to our coral reefs, helping to protect our coastline, and harnessing renewable natural resources. The climate is changing. Are you? Grenada adapts now. The Integrated Climate Change Adaptation Strategies Project is part of the International Climate Initiative funded by the government of Germany to help Grenada adapt to the effects of climate change. This is a production of the UNDP and the Grenada Ministry of Agriculture. In Nawasa's Water Wars, the second season, of course, and we are now to the end of the final round or the final competition in this year's uh, competition or this year's event and it's now time for the final results I know everybody's a bit edgy for that one so without further ado I will now go ahead and give you the final results in fourth position we have the Hillsborough Secondary School <laughs> with three hundred and fifty dollars in third position, we have the St. Andrew Anglican Secondary School. And they would have had $450. In second position, the Anglican High School. They would have had $450 also, tying with the St. Andrew Anglican High School. Ang sorry, the St. Andrew Anglican Secondary School, so much Anglicans, but we had a tiebreaker and because the Anglican High School got the correct answer, therefore they are in second position. The reigning champs of Nawasa Water Wars, of course, they would have reclaimed their title and that's none other than the St. Joseph's Convent St. George's. And they would have accumulated $475. Well done, well done, well done. Congratulations to all of you, even to those who didn't see their way throughout the competition. Congratulations to you as well. It was indeed a pleasure being a part of what I will refer to as a successful event. Thank you once again to all our sponsors. We remind you that this competition was brought to you by the National Water and Sewage Authority, NOASA and the German Agency for International Cooperation, GIC, as part of the International Water Stewardship Program, IWAS, funded by the governments of Germany and the UK and implemented in cooperation with the Ministry of Agriculture, Lands, Forestry, Fisheries and the Environment. Until next year, I am Linda Braveboy, thanking you so much for viewing. <laughs>